And welcome in Northland basketball fans to Holbrook High School. This is Tony Munoz Gymnasium and they're playing this game on the Buttonholzer courts. And you saw the first points of the game right there for the Tuba City Lady Warriors, Ariana Begay. Splashing one from straight over the top, and she cuts a Holbrook lead to one point. The score here, Holbrook four, Tuba City three. The first bucket of the game scored a few moments ago by Holbrook's Holly Casam Casamero. As you watch Nohia Aberly connect on the runner and give Holbrook a three-point lead, six to three here in the first quarter. Two free throws by Rayel Yazi make up the other. Roadrunner points here early on in the game. Rayel fouled on what's been the only foul whistled on either one of these teams so far in the game. There's a long three-point Tuba City try that's no good. Holbrook with trouble handling the rebound. That goes out of bounds to the Warriors, and they'll get a chance right here to see if they can trim that early Roadrunner lead, which is 6-3 to three right now. Welcome in, everybody. My name is Floyd Simmons. We are... Getting just a bit of a late start as we worked feverishly to overcome some issues. Seems like more and more and more network issues are a challenge out there, at least in some places. We had our challenges here before the game today, but thank you to the athletic director, Greg Perkins, and a couple of the folks from the IT department here at Holbrook High School for working with us to get and everything straightened out as quickly as we possibly could. And here we are, underway with this broadcast of Northland Basketball, presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. We've got a, we've got a, a new technical director on our broadcast tonight, although he's not new with us here at the Sports Zone. Leonard keone has been shooting a camera for us for a long time, and now Leonard is taking over this one tonight as our technical director, so thanks, Leonard, for stepping in as you watch Holbrook work it inside beautifully. Boy, I wish I'd have saw who delivered the pass to Ray El Yazi from way up on top. I think that might have been Elena Yazi with the beautiful assist for the Roadrunners as they run the backside cut to the basket. And that set play worked to perfection for the Lady Roadrunners to give them now an 8-3 lead with 3.45 remaining in the first quarter. Thank you to Holbrook Family Dentistry for their sponsoring partnership of Northland Basketball. Here's, yeah, here's that kind of give and go. And again, I, a little trouble on that. Maybe it was uh, Rayel who threw the pass. One way or the other, the Roadrunners took advantage. Another nice-looking set play developing, but maybe the pass leading... Uh, Maya Francisco just a little bit too much collision there on the baseline and it's going to go out of bounds. The Warriors are going to have the basketball as you take a look at at the uh, Tuba City head coach Kim Williams. Her team off to a good start this year. The Roadrunners, when I say a good start, you know, there's been a quality win here or there. And a shot from the corner. That big three-point basket goes in for Tuba City. Justice Nez with her first points today. And all six of these Tuba City first quarter points are three-pointers. And there's a runner across the paint. And a throw it up there, Nohia Aberly with her second basket of the game. Roadrunners stay out in front. Well, you know, Greg Perkins, the head coach of Holbrook, is... Just famous for, famous for his reloading. I mean, uh, this Roadrunners team looks great, don't they? Early on, they've had a couple of good wins so far this season. We'll look at both schedules here in a moment as you watch this one go in and go up. It didn't go in. It went up from downtown and didn't quite land. There's Greg Perkins, the head coach for the Warriors. And Coach Perkins, multi-talented guy. First of all, he is an outstanding athlete, great golfer, and he's also a great broadcaster. He really is a terrific broadcaster. He's done a lot of sports on radio work in the past. And someday when he decides he's done coaching, he's going he's gonna to join us again, I think, as a broadcaster here at the Sports Zone. Meanwhile, he's, he's busy with his team, and there's Nohia with another shot that goes up and, and in, and she's got six points early on for the Roadrunners. 
Drop a pass inside. That's just off the hands of Natasha Akafli. And the Warriors will give it up. And we'll get a whistle. Coming into the game is Trice Sinigeni for Tuba. And it looks like Holbrook is also going to check in. Somebody new for the moment, Linnea Smith, will join her teammates out on the floor, the Lady Roadrunners. And they'll bring it up into front court. Going lefty, and there was a carry. Yeah, you could kind of just see it there. Elena Yazzie tried to try to get to the to the basket, but good defense in front of her. Kind of forced that little awkward moment for her, and she carried and and the whistle. Weave at the top for Tuba, and a three pointer is on the way. That's going to bounce around and just off the mark for Aubrey Begay. Rebound Roadrunners. Here they come into front court. Rael Yazzie's got it. Drops it back into the hands of Elena Yazzie. Elena, instead of throwing to the low post where Nohia Aberly was working, she kept it outside. Now Nohia will take it. Lost the handles, and it's out of bounds off Tuba. Last to touch it was Aubrey Begay. So the Roadrunners to run an inbound play right here. We'll see what Coach Perkins dials up for his Lady Roadrunners. They switch across the paint, throw it in at the top. Holbrook's got it. Holly Casimero, the lady that scored the first points of the game for the Roadrunners, takes that inbound pass. And now it's Elena. And that's some tight defense and a shot clock violation. Well, when you do have one, when you have a shot clock violation, it's always, you know, Seems like it's the only one of the game, <laughs> and nobody, nobody's paying attention to the shot clock. Okay, not until, not until the buzzer sounds, and then you start paying attention after that. But the first one always gets you. We are down to the 57 second mark here in the first quarter, and 26 seconds on the shot clock. A 12-6 Lady Roadrunner lead over Tuba City. Well, the officials are talking it over. We get a chance to talk about the officials. There you see the venerable one, the great Greg Chavez Sr. right there talking with uh, Jishi Arviso, who I think, I think Jishi is the uh, lead official in this one tonight. And then we want to get a shot at that young man right there, Leroy Thomas, back in the officiating ranks. I think he came back and did some officiating last year after a very long absence I think it was 2016, the last time that he officiated. You watch a nice pass by Nohia Aberly for her fourth field goal of the first quarter. But Leroy Thomas, great to see him back out there officiating. He is a wonderful guy. One of my all-time favorite officials. And, uh, you know, he had knee problems and did not officiate for a long time. You watch... Elena Yazi bury a three for the Roadrunners. They're on a tear right now, and they're leading by 11. Final 10 seconds of the first quarter. Drive. Tried to force one. Shot blocked. It was blocked by Elena Yazi, who's got the ball now. She'll attack. Try to throw one up and beat the buzzer. But the shot did not obviously go in. That's how the first quarter comes to an end with the Lady Roadrunners really separating themselves here in the final seconds of that first quarter. And our score here going on to our break. Holbrook 17, Tuba City 6. Stand by, everybody. We'll be back right after this. More Northland basketball presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. You may qualify for free internet with Choice NTUA Wireless. You may qualify for free internet with Choice and TUA Wireless. If you already have Choice Tribal Lifeline, then you may also qualify for a free home internet connection with the Affordable Connectivity Program. Visit one of our Choice and TUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash ACP and get qualified for a free internet connection today. Choice and TUA Wireless, Navajo owned, Navajo proud. Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. 
They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000, and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928-524-6854. Hey, we're back in to start the second quarter, everybody. Welcome back to Northland Basketball presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. And you missed the first points of the second quarter. Tuba City with a great play. Ariana Begay picked the pocket of Rael Yazi. She's covering her right now. She stole it, drove, then dished to her teammate for the points. And I think the points, I think the points went to Aubrey Begay. I'll check that and confirm that for you here in a moment. But Aubrey, who comes up the left side here now, so you watch a pass doink around a little bit, and then Tuba City finally controls. But then the pass is picked off. Good job by... And Nohia Aberly, she's got it on the angle left side. Lost the handle. And to her teammate for a three in the corner. On the way, Elena Yazzi's shot no good for the Lady Roadrunners. And on the rebound after brought down by Aubrey Begay, we get a whistle. We get a Holbrook foul. And it looks like it's Maya Francisco. Francisco picking up the foul. Remember that. Team fouls reset every quarter. It doesn't really matter. Holbrook, I don't think Holbrook committed a foul in the first quarter. I think Tuba City had one foul in the first quarter. But they'll reset those fouls here now for the second quarter. And there's no such thing as one and one in high school basketball anymore in Arizona. So the way you get to shoot foul shots on non normally non-shooting fouls is when the opponent reaches five team fouls you get to go and shoot two automatic foul, foul shots no one and one anymore everything is two shots or three shots these days or I guess you get an and one if you make a, a two-point field goal and or a three-point field goal and get fouled you get the and one opportunity that's the only time it's a one shot second quarter underway thank you to Holbrook family dentistry you heard that message from them a moment ago they're located here in Holbrook and they've got, they serve as customers, you know, in this I-40 corridor, Holbrook, Winslow, that stretch, you know, and out east as well. So we get the second foul of the game that is whistled on Aubrey Begay. Holbrook Family Dentistry has numerous customers from up north on the, on the Navajo Reservation, and there's a reason why they are trusted. They do a wonderful job. They care about your issues and they care about you so get in touch with Holbrook Family Dentistry a great sponsoring partners partner of ours here at Northland Basketball and the sports zone under six minutes on the clock here in the second quarter the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass halftime report comes up at the break and a bounce pass tried to throw a blind pass picked up by Bailey Williams for the Lady Roadrunners into front court Elena Yazi with the basketball into the corner for the left-handed three-point try, which is good for Holly Casamero. Holly's got her second bucket of the game, five points in the first half. Her teammate, Nohia Aberly, leads the way with eight points so far. And the Roadrunners lead the game 20 to, 20 to 8, the score, as it gets tipped out off of Tuba. Take another look here. The dish to the corner, and uh, ah, you missed the release on that. We got there late. We got there late on the coverage. Sorry about it. You got to see the, the shot go in the basket. That was Casimero with the shot. So Elena Yazi brings it up for Holbrook. This Holbrook team looking, looking great early on in the season. And a nice 17-footer goes in for Rael Yazi, and that'll bring out a timeout from Coach Williams in Tuba City. They want to discuss things with 5.03 remaining here in the first half. 22-8, the Lady Roadrunners in front. We'll just stick around right here. 
for just a moment. Take a look at. Take a look at the Lady Warriors. Tuba City's overall record checking into the game is three and one. They got kind of a late start compared to many of the teams that we get to cover. They opened the season with a, an exciting home victory over Winslow, 49 to 48. We got to see that one. That uh, game-winning three-point shot by Kiana Susan Yadami. So a victory over Winslow, that was on November 21st. A week later, they beat Hopi, 62 to 27. And then a victory over Borgate Catholic on December 7th before finally dropping one to Campo Verde. They lost that game 54 to 35. Campo Verde, I think, is a 5A team. Might even be 6A. We'll get a whistle. And a foul on the Lady Roadrunners. That will be a shooting foul. And it's Aberly picking up her first foul. And Natasha Akafli perfect on her first foul try. That's the first point of the game. Take a look at the replay again. Inside. The defender elevated. Akafli did a great job to get the contact and made both foul shots as well for Tuba. And it's 22 to 10. Holbrook in front. And there's a great pickoff by Susan Yadami. The pull-up jump shot just off the back iron. That one's going to bounce out and off. Nope, Holbrook saves it. Didn't need to, but they did. And they'll have the basketball. Aberly brings it up to Yazi. And now into front court to the high post. And the Roadrunners work it around. Nice ball movement by Holbrook. The pull up jump shot off the glass is no good for Aberly. And Tupa City's got the rebound. Kiki brings it up into front court. This is Kiki Susan Yadami. And now she'll feed her teammate. Return back to Susan Yadami on the angle. And the left side, Raquel Lee gives it up. And a three-point try is up and on the way, and no good for Therese Sinigini. Dangerous pass by Aberly, picked off by Sinigini. Pull up, nope, going to dish. And just a little bit too strong on the shot attempt by Susan Yanami. Holbrook, can they take advantage? No, but they'll get a foul out of it. Casimero took the long pass, and under the basket, Natasha Akafli Made the contact to send her to the foul line for two shots. The Lady Roadrunners will see if they can add to a 12-point advantage. Casimera at the line. The shot is good. Three Lady Roadrunners check out of the game. Tuba traded one player here between shots. And Casimiro will try and drop this one. She does. Shot good. 24 to 10. Holbrook in front. Bounce it inside. And Coughley got too far under. Her teammate with the rebound and the putback. It is Chloe Begay in the game, and Chloe gets the shot to go for the Lady, Ro Lady Warriors. Whistle in backcourt. Tuba City foul. And this foul goes against Ariana Begay, her second foul of the game. That's the fourth team foul on the Warriors. That means in this final 306, another foul will send the Roadrunners to the line for the, for the automatic bonus. Averly with two defenders on her. Got it away, got it back from Kylia Chi, who is now in the Holbrook lineup. But Averly going to take one back after the turnover. Her pass broken up. Acopley playing 
defensive back back there. Nice job. She made a, made a great safety, wouldn't she? Tipped it out, out of bounds. Score remains 24 to 12. Roadrunners check a new lady in. And at the top of the key for Holbrook, Linnea Smith. She gives it up to Elena Yazi. Also in the game for the Roadrunners, Chelsea Begay. There is Nohia Aberly to Yazi, who dribbles right, stops, comes back in, and the 17-footer no good there. Trouble on the rebound, but Tuba controls. Raquel Lee has it. She'll bring it up the floor and throw a dangerous pass. Tipped, but controlled by Tuba. Get it under the basket, and the shot is good. Akafli, the assist. Chloe Begay, the, the points for Tuba City. Two minutes remaining in the first half. The Mountain Mobile Auto Glass. Halftime report on the way. Can't stop. No, he, uh, and she's got double figures now. Ten points in the game for Aberly. 26 to 14, our score. McCoffley, the give and go. And some pretty hard contact on Ariana Begay. She's going to stay on the floor for a bit. And we hope that she is able to, yeah, she's going to get some help up from her teammates. Coach Williams out to check on her. Might have smacked the back of her head. Not the most comfortable thing ever. But she's going to stay on the floor, and she'll go to the foul line for the two shots after a foul committed by Chelsea Begay. Holbrook by 12. Ariana makes that first shot. Just heard somebody in the in the crowd refer to her as Ari. Okay. I'll go for that. Ari. Chelsea Begay checks out for Holbrook. In to replace her is Rael Yazi. And that foul shot is good. I see that they're doing a 50-50 raffle. There's a, there's a lady walking around here with the sign, 50-50 raffle. I'd love to get in on it. And I'm, my question is, do they take... Do they take IOUs? Because I, I forgot to bring any cash in with me. I don't have any cash, and I'd love to get in on the 50-50. Anybody got an answer for me? Timeout, by the way. Holbrook takes a timeout with a minute 40 on the clock here in the second quarter. We're going to stay here with it, everybody. Remind you that... At halftime, it's the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass Halftime Report. Also reminds you that Northland basketball is presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. Got to be honest with you, Tuba City game, you know, it's a big game. Both for the boys and the girls. And the crowd here in Holbrook is surprisingly small. Lady Roadrunners come into the game with a one and six record. And I think they're they're playing better than the record indicates. A little like last year, they had a really difficult start to the year. See them travel right there and give the ball up. Holbrook lost to Alchese to start the season on November 21st. They lost a very close game to Chin Lee, 48 to 46. Ganado defeated the Roadrunners back on December 5th as Tupa City tries to work it inside, the shot is tipped out after it after it missed. The Lady Roadrunners lost to Pima, 49-37, and then Fort Thomas, 53-45. Before finally, finally getting their first win of the season on December 9th, a victory over Fort Thomas, 53-41. So taking on the three and one Tuba City Warriors and. I mean, Holbrook looks a lot better than the record, don't they? A nice finish at the basket. Roll it up there and good. Lady Warriors getting points out of Raquel Lee on that shot attempt. Holbrook outscored Tuba 17-8 in the first quarter and 
Right now, Tupa's got the slight advantage in the second period, a 10-9 swing in this quarter. 50 seconds remaining in the first half. Akakli inbounds the basketball. Ariana Begay. Ari changes directions, feeds it for the jump shot from the corner. And that's a two. The official indicates that Thalia Clipso hit the long range two point bucket, and Tuba's closing the gap here in the second quarter. You get a foul right there. And the Warriors commit a foul. The lady that got whistled is uh, Kiana Susan Yanami, and Susan Yanami picked up her first foul. There, that's team foul number five. Bonus for the final 23 seconds. Aberly at the line for the Roadrunners. One of two at the line. With another to go. Too strong off the back iron. Rebound, Tuba. Raquel Lee into front court. Guarded by Ray El Yazi of Holbrook. The bounce pass. Oh, dangerous. To Ariana Begay, but she controlled. 10 seconds. Shot on the way. Off the glass. No good on the three. Rebound inside. A cop. They couldn't make it go. Three seconds remaining. The Roadrunners, will they get a shot? No, they're not going to get a shot away. Couldn't get that one away, but they escaped. The potential of a big basket right there by Tuba to close it out in the half. And Holbrook will take a 27-20 lead over the Roadrunners here at the end of the second, everybody. End of the first half, the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass halftime report is on the way in a few moments. And we'll break it all down for you in just a bit. Holbrook 27, Tuba City 20. This is Northland Basketball. It's presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. We get it. The last thing you probably want is a trip to the hospital. But the first thing you should consider is where you'll receive the best healthcare experience. At White Mountain Regional Medical Center, located in Springerville, we strive to be the community's preferred healthcare provider. Need a home doctor visit, a wellness appointment, or to utilize the latest CT and MRI technology? Our professionally trained staff will care for you with empathy and purpose. White Mountain Regional Medical Center is your healthcare partner when choices matter. Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000, and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928-524-6854. With Choice and TUA Wireless, you can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of our broadband service. We have expanded our network for more coverage and improved internet plans for your home. Visit one of our Choice and TUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband and order your home internet connection today. Choice and TUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. Every home has a story to tell, and your furniture sets the stage. From classic to contemporary, farmhouse to European, the Furniture Gallery will match your taste with the perfect centerpiece or accent. Make each room in your home a place to gather, connect, and create lasting memories. The Furniture Gallery doesn't just sell furniture. They deliver comfort, quality, and unparalleled customer service. The Furniture Gallery, located in Snowflake, helps make a house a home, and they'll do whatever it takes to make you a customer for life.
Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000, and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928-524-6854. We get it. The last thing you probably want is a trip to the hospital. But the first thing you should consider is where you'll receive the best healthcare experience. At White Mountain Regional Medical Center, located in Springerville, we strive to be the community's preferred healthcare provider. Need a home doctor visit, a wellness appointment, or to utilize the latest CT and MRI technology? Our professionally trained staff will care for you with empathy and purpose. White Mountain Regional Medical Center is your healthcare partner when choices matter. Don't settle for less on a gift when you can give way more for way less. The Hallmark Gold Crown Store in Pine Top goes beyond having the perfect card. Exciting new lines were just released. Bourbon Barrel Foods out of Louisville, Kentucky features gourmet sauces, nuts, and seasonings. Jack Black's Men's Superior Skincare, be manly and clean. And for ladies, pinkies up. Luxury teas, sugars, cups, and infusers. Open Monday through Saturday, the Hallmark is where smiles are made together. When exactness is ordered, Hatch Concrete will deliver. We provide ready-mix concrete for any size job. From the do-it-yourself project to the professional construction project, delivering a variety of aggregate to suit your concrete or construction needs from granite to cinders. Hatch Concrete is not just another ready-mix concrete company. We provide quality surface, quality concrete, concrete pumping, and Fox Blocks where quality is not just a name, but a tradition. At Hatch Concrete, this mud's for you. You probably already know the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass jingle, but this holiday season, that jingle means holiday cash. Now through Christmas, we are giving away $500 cash each week and $1,000 bonus cash right before Christmas. Hello, Santa! Right now, when you choose Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint for your insured windshield replacement, you can choose two delicious steak dinners at Cattleman's Steakhouse and two movie tickets to the WME Theaters or full-service car washes at the KK Express Wash, or a $100 gift certificate for window tint. That's a great idea for a present from the best auto glass tinters on the mountain. And everyone's name goes in the hat for weekly winners of $500 in holiday cash. And again in the hat for the $1,000 Christmas bonus drawing. Five, three, six, five, nine, seven. Welcome to the Mountain Mobile Halftime. A complete first half breakdown of tonight's Sports Zone Radio Game of the Week broadcast. This is the Mountain Mobile Halftime. Halftime, everybody. Welcome back in to this broadcast of Northland Basketball presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. The Mountain Mobile Auto Glass halftime report underway here now. Holbrook has come out with a 27-20 first half lead over Tuba City in this girls varsity matchup. For the Roadrunners, Nohia Aberly with a big first half, 11 points to lead the way for the Lady Roadrunners who come into the game with a 1-6 record. Doing what they can to turn their fortunes around early on in this season. They got to get something going the right way, and they're taking on the three and one Tuba City Lady Warriors and looking good so far. Holbrook and their fans. Holly Casimero has two. Aubrey Begay with two points. Raquel Lee has two points. And finally, Nat- Natasha Akafli with two points. Both of those at the foul line. The Lady Warriors. Have made two threes. Those came in the first quarter. Justice Nez hit one. Ariana Begay hit one. Did I mention? I did mention Justice with her three points, right? So that's what it looks like after the first half. I mentioned the Lady Roadrunners with a one and six overall record. Before tonight, Tuba City with a three and one record. And we're just a couple of moments away. So we're going to take a timeout. And we'll be back in a moment. We want to get a word in from, of course, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent Halftime presenting sponsors. 
So let's do that now, everybody, as we wrap up the halftime report and get ready for the second half in just a moment here. Northland Basketball is presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. You probably already know the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass jingle, but this holiday season, that jingle means holiday cash. Now through Christmas, we are giving away $500 cash each week and $1,000 bonus cash right before Christmas. Hello, Santa. Right now, when you choose Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint for your insured windshield replacement, you can choose two delicious steak dinners at Cattleman's Steakhouse and two movie tickets to the WME Theaters or full-service car washes at the KK Express Wash, or a $100 gift certificate for window tint. That's a great idea for a present from the best auto glass tinters on the mountain. And everyone's name goes in the hat for weekly winners of $500 in holiday cash. And again in the hat for the $1,000 Christmas bonus drawing. Five, three, six, five, nine, seven, two, seven, mobile auto glass. Back to the action as you take a look at some of the replays from the first half. Look at me a chance, by the way, as you enjoy those. Uh, give me a chance to uh, give me a chance to look at the. I got the uh, lineup card from Tupa City's boys head coach. That would be Pete Butler, one of our broadcasting alum here at uh, at the sports zone he has uh, called a number of games with us over the over the years of time coach butler always a welcome member of our broadcast team and it's not just because he feeds us like royalty when we go to tuba city and cover the warriors out that direction it's not just because in the middle of the night, his lovely wife will cook us up the best fry bread you've ever had. Feed us before we get on the road for the long drive home. It's not just because of that. Always with a cold, ice cold Coca-Cola ready at hand. It's not because of any of that that I think that Pete Butler is amazing. But that doesn't hurt. <laughs> I love the guy. I love the guy, and uh, and he is the head coach of this Tuba City Warriors team as you get the first foul of the second half as we get it underway, everybody. And Nohia Aberly at the, at the foul line after the second foul of the game is whistled on Natasha Akothley, and Aberly able to add to her game high total in the scoring column. Both are good, and she's got 13 points in the game. Holbrook by nine. As the second half gets underway, Northland basketball is presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. Floyd Simmons here on the play-by-play -play call. Our producer is Derek Simmons. Technical director on the live video stream is, that's Leonard Keone. And on camera for us here in this one from Holbrook, big Sean Ulbistad making the trip with us today as Holbrook will go on the drive there and the shot attempt by Maya Francisco is, is no good. There's a whistle, there's a foul. That'll be Tuba. Nope, rather Holbrook. Holbrook getting called, and the foul is whistled on Holly Casamero. That'll be Holly's first foul of the game. Second half underway. Check the Lady Roadrunner. Second half starting five. Nohia Averly is out there. Holly Casamero mentioned both of those already. Rayel Yazi and Elena Yazi are both out there. And boy, what a shot. But I didn't see who got that. Check for you. Smith? No. A Coughley? Oh, 10, 10, 10. No, thank you. Okay. Aubrey Begay. Aubrey with the great shot. Another whistle. And this time a foul on Susan Yotomi. No, that can't be Kiana. Because that'd be her second foul. Scoreboard. Scorekeeper said Susan Yotomi. Well, maybe it was but it would be her second foul of the game. Regardless, uh, Tuba City intercepts the inbound pass, and they've got the ball. Let's check the five on the floor. Justice Nez, the shot is up. Justice says her second three of the game. 
for the Lady Warriors. Natasha Akathli starts the second half. So does Ariana Begay. She joins Justice Nez in the backcourt, providing full court pressure for the Tuba City defense. Aubrey Begay starts the second half, and so does Kiana Susan Yadabi as a nice pass finds Elena Yazi for the bucket for the Roadrunners. They continue to lead, but Tuba City is fighting and hanging in there. 31-25, rebound Holbrook. Averly up the left side. And she stops for the 15-footer. The shot is good for Mejia. Tuba with the basketball try to answer. Officials timeout. So they stop play for just a moment. I didn't see what it was. So the official is she pointing to one end of the floor and then pointed to the other end of the floor, and we were not privy to the entire conversation. Fans nearby got to hear the whole thing. Rael Yazi takes away that pass. Holbrook, good defense. Return pass to Rael. She'll drive, fake it right, throw it up there, shot no good. Player control foul. They say Yazi got a little out of control and picks up the Holbrook foul. That'll be the first of the game on Rael. Well, I've seen more offensive fouls called this season than I may ever have through the number of games that we have we have uh, called on, on our broadcast coverage. It's a point of emphasis, I'm sure. As this ball gets knocked out of bounds by the Holbrook defense. Ariana right there trying, trying to get to the basket. And Elena Yazi of Holbrook able to tip that one out. Inbound for Tuba into Susan Yadami. Now to the top. Ariana, step back. Nope, didn't like the shot selection. Lob it inside and a nice pass. Dangerous maybe, but a nice pass to Susan Yadami for her second third quarter bucket for the Lady Warriors. Holbrook gets it into front court. Averly for a three point try. That one is no good. And then a foul is whistled on Holbrook on the rebound. Picking up the Holbrook foul is Maya Francisco. And a 33 to 27 lead. Game one of our broadcast doubleheader between the games. We always stop the first broadcast to start a second one for the boys game. So keep it in mind, if you'd like to watch that game as well, you'll have to, you know, refresh the browser or go to the Sports Zone's home, either our, our Facebook page or the YouTube channel, our YouTube channel. And I will say that, you know, again, I always encourage you, if you're watching on Facebook, we do broadcast there. The experience tends to be better on YouTube for a number of reasons. We generally have fewer issues with our broadcast, technical issues. And so I would highly, highly encourage you, if you're watching on Facebook, to go and find the broadcast on our YouTube channel, the Sports Zone Radio YouTube channel, and watch the broadcast there. Just seems to work better. That's like the main thing that YouTube does, right? It, you know, Facebook does it, but they don't do it as a, like their main deal. A couple of foul shots, no good there on the Tuba City end. Akathli couldn't connect. And the Roadrunners, a six-point advantage. Swing it on the inbound. Elena, back outside. Rael Yazi for three, and the shot is good from downtown. Thirty-six twenty-seven. Holbrook had that nice run at the end of the first quarter that really stretched the lead. Tuba doesn't want to let that happen again, and a beautiful Ariana Begay assist on that pass to find her teammate rolling to the basket. 
Is that a, was that a classic pick and roll right there? I didn't see the entire play unfold, but it's an end one opportunity for a Coffley. Set up by that beautiful pass. The second foul of the game on Casemiro of Holbrook. A little bit of trouble at the line by Natasha Akafli. She made her first two foul shots of the game. That was in the first half. Now she's missed three free throws in the third quarter. Just trying to find that range right now. Holbrook has Kylia Chi in the, in the game. She gives it up to Nohia, who turns her way into the paint. Got some contact from Akafli, and that'll be an and one after, after the shot goes in for Aberly. And Aberly's, well, a great game so far is continuing to Move toward toward even greater, I guess. Uh, 17 points in the game for Nohia. See if she can make it 18. She is three out of four from the line, make it four out of five. The shot is good, 18 points for Aberly. She's got seven points in the third quarter for the Roadrunners. Justice Nez on the drive, high off the glass, no good there, tipped around. Aberly the rebound, and she gets contact and fouled. Fighting for the basketball. I think the lady that got her was Justice. Yeah, it was Justice Nez. First foul of the game on, on Nez. Holbrook sitting on a 10-point lead with the basketball. Beyond the halfway mark of the third quarter. Into front court, left side, on the way. Aberly's great game continues. She shows what she can do from outside the arc. The big three-point shot makes it 21 in the game for Nohia. Drive, shot, that one is good. That's Therese Sinijini in the game. Getting some points back for Tuba. The Roadrunners gonna break the press. Ah, nice job getting back on defense. That's Aubrey Begay with a steal. Outlet pass. Oh, nice pass through the paint. Tuba starting to get some stuff done. Ariana Begay feeds, feeds her teammate. That was, well, I'm going to have to check here. Oh, that's 25. That's, that is uh, Sydney Ginny that found her way under the basket for two in a row for Tuba. And a miss from the corner. And the Warriors with a chance. Close that gap right here. Down by nine. Head fake. Ariana Begay now settles at the top of the key for a huge three-point make. Ariana's second three of the game. The Warriors get to within seven now. It's actually a six-point rotor in the lead. And Ray Yazi throws it away. Tried a real quick, almost like a tip pass. Couldn't make it happen. Ariana Begay. Oh, that one would have been huge. Shot no good. Rebound Aberly. And she is going to keep control. Tuba tried to get a carry, but the official said that that was tipped by the Warriors defense. Shot no good. Another shot! This time is good. A three in the corner is good for Casimero. The Roadrunners answering a little bit of a Tuba City run right there with a big three-pointer to try and slow the momentum down. And it's a nine-point lead again for Holbrook. Ariana Begay in the paint. Nice pass. Ariana distributing. And Aubrey Begay, the beneficiary, with the bucket. Holbrook breaks the press. This is Elena Yazzi. This is Inyani B picks her up into the paint. Ariana Begay, or rather, sorry about that. That was Nohia Aberly. Wrong team, wrong side of the floor. Nohia unable to make that shot. Good defense by Tuba. Justice Nez, and she is fouled. I think that's, I think that's going to be Kalia Chi who picks up the foul. It is. That's her first foul of the game. Team foul number six on Holbrook. In 56.5 seconds, those team fouls are going to reset for both teams. Six on Holbrook, four on Tuba. And that shot, no good.
Justice unable to make two important foul shots. Long pass. Roadrunner is able to bring it up. And a hand check. Linnea Smith caught that long pass. Boy, that was a great throw, wasn't it? Who made that throw? Was that Ray Al? I think that made that long throw for the Roadrunners. If so, I'd like to see. I'd like to see what she could do on the softball field. Smith at the line. That shot no good for the Roadrunners. 44.3 seconds remaining in the third period. And that one also off the mark. Boy, I tell you, both teams having, a, having their struggles at the foul line. Susan Yadami for three. Wide of the mark. No good there. Tips down. Holbrook's got it. Rayel Yazzie's pass. Averly. Her bounce pass. Trouble. Super City able to get back, but they're going to foul Bailey Williams. That's Kiana Susan Yadami, third foul of the game on her. Two foul shots coming up for Williams. I don't know what it is, but free throws are getting, they're hard to come by. The made free throws are pretty scarce right now. Finally, somebody breaks the, breaks the, uh, the curse there on, uh, at the free throw line. We'll see if uh, these teams can turn their fortunes around at the line. Uh, something tells me as physical and fast as they're playing out there, we'll see a, a number of whistles in the fourth quarter. Ariana Begay launches. Shot is good. That's the second three of the quarter for Ariana. Trying to pressure that ball in backcourt. They do, but Holbrook breaks it. They got numbers. Can they get a shot away? This one is no good. The buzzer sounds. Shot won't go in for Linnea Smith. And the third quarter comes to an end, everybody. How about this one? Holbrook 46, Tuba City 41. Great game unfolding here. And we'll have that fourth quarter on the way in a moment. Northland basketball is presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. When exactness is ordered, Hatch Concrete will deliver. We provide ready-mix concrete for any size job. From the do-it-yourself project to the professional construction project. Delivering a variety of aggregate to suit your concrete or construction needs from granite to cinders. Hatch Concrete is not just another ready-mix concrete company. We provide quality surface, quality concrete, concrete pumping, and Fox Blocks where quality is not just a name, but a tradition. At Hatch Concrete, this mud's for you. The team at Beam & Will Drilling is like a great football team. They work hard, they work as a team, and they play to win. Their reputation is second to none, and they proudly call the White Mountains their home, even though they complete projects throughout the entire southwestern United States and beyond. No project is too big or too small for Beam & Well Drilling, so when the time comes for you to punch a hole in the ground, remember the White Mountains' top well drilling team, Beam & Well Drilling. Call anytime, 928-205-7647. Go deep with Beam & Well Drilling. Hey, back into it, everybody. Welcome back to Holbrook High School, the home of the Roadrunners. And uh, yours truly as well, at least at one time. This is where I went to high school right here, the Holbrook Roadrunners. This is the very same gym that I attended many a basketball game. I, I didn't play high school basketball. We had too much talent in uh, at Holbrook at the time. And I mean that, man. We were loaded. I did not. I never tried out because I didn't want to sit the bench behind guys like Jimmy Joe and Mike Budenholzer. We had 
had some, we had some great talent. And I'm going to have to find out who made that last shot for Tuba as we get a three-point try from the Roadrunners. Can't do it. Follow there, no good. Aberly, and finally, the effort pays off. Nohia, 23 points in the game. Anybody know who that Tuba City shot was a moment ago? Okay, I got it. I got it. It was Raquel Lee. Good job, Raquel. And a great job by our production team to get me, get me the points on that. Here's the third foul of the game on Holly Casimero of Holbrook. She's, you know, in mild foul trouble. And that's about it on, on the Holbrook side. Ariana Begay has three fouls for a Tuba City. Nobody else has three for Tuba. And Aubrey Begay makes those foul shots. And our score is 48 to 45. Tuba City has battled back against the Roadrunners. We've got a one possession game underway and the Roadrunners are gonna kick that one and give it up. Tuba's basketball, a little trouble handling it right there. Maya Francisco back on the floor, maybe a little cold. After sitting a bit and with 6.58 remaining in regulation. This is anybody's game to win. Holbrook 48, Tuba City 45. You see the timeout counts on that graphic, the scoreboard graphic on your screen. The dashed lines mean Holbrook has four timeouts remaining. Tuba's got four timeouts remaining, and the Roadrunners will intercept the pass. Elena Yazi into the paint. Got some, got some defense in front of her. Couldn't make it, but steals it back. Holbrook in the corner. Casimero. Just off the mark. Another rebound. Roadrunners, and this one will turn into points for Nohia Aberly. 25 in the game for Nohia. 50 to 45. Tuba, and that shot's good for Trice Sinijini. Big make, much needed. And it's a two point game. Holbrook into front court. Rayel, right side, Elena Yazi for three. Unable. Into Rayel's hands, her follow no good. Aberly fouled on her shot attempt after an offensive rebound. And it was Kiki Susanyanami picking up the foul. Kiki's got three fouls in the game now. 50 to 48. Holbrook in front. Tentative lead at best right now. Well, it was double figures just a moment ago. Tuba City refuses to give in. And that missed foul shot. That is a big one for, for the Warriors. You watch Amberly again miss. But at the foul line now. One of two. And a three-point lead. That ball finds the crowd. To bet it's not like uh, the indoor football league. You know, we, we cover the indoor football league here at the Sports Zone as you get a timeout from the Tuba City bench. We're going to get us a word in from our friends at Holbrook Family Dentistry. Uh, talk more about what happens when the ball goes in the crowd when you're at an IFL game. Meanwhile, here it's high school basketball, Holbrook 51. Tuba City 48 North Land Basketball is presented by Choice NTU Way Wireless. Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000, and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928-524-6854. Our score here as we continue in the fourth quarter, Holbrook 51, Tuba City 48, and our coverage of Northland basketball is presented to you by Choice Broadband. Choice NTUA Wireless. Thank you. Choice for making it possible for the Sports Zone 
to provide the coverage that we are able to. And this is a very busy week. Four games on the docket for you. Tomorrow night, a 5.30 start at Sholo High School. The Sholo Cougars take on Thatcher. How about the 14-0 Sholo Lady Cougars? 14-0 is Tuba City. Get some quick points in off the timeout. They work it inside to Raquel Lee, and Raquel's got 11. No, 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 take it back, six points, six points. Sorry about that. Ariana Begay has the 11 I was just referring to. They are next to each other on the uh, on the uh, scoreboard in the book. And Tuba is one, well, I was going to say, they're one possession away from taking the lead, but Rayel, uh, Rayel Yazi with the mid-range jump shot for Holbrook. She is unwilling to relinquish that lead just yet. 53-50, work it inside. Nice pass from Susan Yanami, but Cindy Jenny just could not get that shot to go. Good defense by Holbrook, make the pressure, make it hard on the shot maker. And we get another whistle. And this time a tuba foul on Raquel Lee. That'll be two fouls now in the game on Raquel. And the Roadrunners for the inbound. See if they can get it back to a two-possession game with five minutes remaining. Inbound to Rayel Yazi. The drive in the paint. She's got the shot. 13 in the game for Holbrook's Rayel Yazi. Roadrunners have three ladies in double figures. Holly Casimero has hit a couple of threes, and she's got 10 points for Holbrook. I mentioned Rayel with her 13 points. And you get a tuba miss right there, and it comes down into the hands of the lady with the most points, the high point lady for Holbrook. There is Averly up the floor. She goes, tried to add to her 26 points that she has so far. Couldn't do it, but Holbrook keeps it, and they work it inside to Kylia Chi, and Kylia's got her first bucket of the game, and the Roadrunners back to a seven-point lead. So six unanswered after tuba made this a one-point game. Inside, shot good, and the foul as well. Aubrey Begay to the foul line. No, it's not Aubrey. It is Raquel Lee. Raquel's had a busy fourth quarter. That's her third, her third bucket. She's got eight points, but six of that right here in the fourth quarter. Now Natasha Coffley checks back into the game. For the Lady Warriors, four minutes and 12 seconds remain. And a big make right there, the end one. Seven fourth quarter points now for Raquel Lee. Doing what she can to try and engineer a, a comeback for Tuba City. Elena Yazi, four minutes remaining. Inside to Rayel, lost the handle. Holbert picked it up. Casimero threw it away. Tuba City, big possession. Justice Nez, left side on the angle for three. That shot just missed the mark. Rebound to Akafli, fouled. And I think that was Elena Yazi that got her from behind. Team foul number four on Holbrook, shooting foul. And they, uh, they give the foul to the wrong person. I believe that's Elena Yazi. They, they, uh, Mark the foul, at least on the scoreboard there, indicating the foul on, on, the, on the shooter. Akopli. That can't be, right? So now the official comes over, and they're going to try to straighten it out. I, I believe the lady that committed the foul. Well, now I'm, I'm, losing, I'm losing track. But I, I think it was Elena Yazi who was behind the play. Take a look at it again. Somebody from the somebody from the crowd is trying to help the official. Somebody yelled 14. And that that that's accurate, I believe. And you looked at the replay right there. I believe it was Elena. The officials. I don't think you've ever settled on, on anybody. And now now the score now the official scorekeeper is stopping play again. They buzzard. That's the fifth foul of the game on somebody, they're, they're saying. Okay, now, now they're saying it's Holly Casimero. And I, I have that, I have Holly as only three before this. 
I, I think that somewhere along the line, they added a foul to her total that wasn't her. And then let's look at the replay again. The officials have gotten back together. Look at this replay. I, I believe it's, it's actually Elena that you see there. Now the fight for position. Ball's going to go up in the air. That's Elena behind the play. Here is Aberly coming in. She's fronting the play. The contact came from behind, and, and Casamero's nowhere near the play. Nowhere near the play, but they're, they're calling it on Casamero. She is a good 10 feet away from the shooter. Maybe more. Maybe 15 feet away out there. This is a moment where I wish we could lend them a hand and help them out, but, you know, the officials clearly can't photographic memory, though they might have. I think they are going to settle on... Well, I still don't know what they're going to settle on. They've settled on something. Casamero is still out there on the floor, I believe, so... I don't... Yeah, I, I don't believe the foul is on her at all. Holbrook wants a timeout, and... I, you know, you do your best to try and figure out everybody. I know this, two foul shots made, and we got a one possession game. Holbrook 57, Tuba City 55. Take a timeout, everybody. Back in a moment after this word from Choice NTUA Wireless. They bring you Northland basketball right here at the Sports Zone. Stand by. You may qualify for free internet with Choice and TUA Wireless. If you already have Choice Tribal Lifeline, then you may also qualify for a free home internet connection with the Affordable Connectivity Program. Visit one of our Choice and TUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash ACP and get qualified for a free internet connection today. Choice and TUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud still don't know what they decided on the on the personal foul a moment ago for Holbrook I do know this during the timeout coach coach Perkins brought Holly Casimero off the floor so I think I think officially in the book she has four personal fouls but I know this she did not commit the foul on the shooter Natasha Coffley a moment ago here's a pass intercepted Great job defensively. That is Raquel Lee. Raquel's had some kind of fourth quarter for Tuba City. She got fouled as well by the Roadrunners. Or did she? Or did she get fouled? Confusion reigning supreme right now, I got to tell you. Here's a shot on the way. Oh, that one rims out. No good. I mean, it was just a fraction off the mark. For Ariana Begay, big shot would have put Tuba City in front. Right now, Holbrook 57, Tuba 55. Rael Yazi guarded by Akafli. Bounce pass, dangerous. And the defender, Ariana Begay, tasked with covering Nohia Aberly, try to slow her down some way. And the only way, I guess, is you, know, you got to commit the foul. That's not a shooting foul. That's the third team foul, third team foul. And they're not any, any longer, at least at the moment, they're not putting the foul totals up on the board. I've got that as the fourth foul of the game on Ariana Begay. I think they called it on her, but Justice Nez came out of the game. I'm a little confused. I'm not going to lie. That ball taken away. Here's another big play by Raquel Lee. She has had a fourth quarter for, for the ages. That pass finds Natasha inside. Nikopoli rolls it a little too strong off the, off the lip of the iron. Just wouldn't stay up for her. Wouldn't go in. And then a foul. And it was Nikopoli. Maybe a little frustration with not making a shot she knows she should have made. We remain at 57-55. Tuba's pressure defense has had a lot to do with closing the gap in the fourth quarter. Big shot, big make! Holly Casimero! Third three of the game for Holly. 
Holbrook back in front by five. Acoffley, nice, took the pass, got the assist, and who is it? Raquel Lee again. Raquel's got 11 points. That's now matched for the high point total for Tuba. Her teammate Ariana Begay also has 11 points. And a Tuba City steal, but they'll throw it back. Right back to Holbrook, timeout. Coach Perkins says, I want to slow this thing down a bit with a minute 42 remaining. Spends one of his three remaining timeouts. That'll be a full timeout, everybody. And give me a chance to look for you at the, how about the schedule of games coming up for us here at the Sports Zone. Hey, how about this one? 60 to 57, Holbrook in front of Tuba City in this girls game. We will end the broadcast after this one and start a whole new one for the boys game. That's what we do. So just look for it if you are uh, if you're going to watch the boys game. Well, let me uh, flip through here and find you the broadcast schedule. Of course, our schedule is subject to change, but we don't make very many changes at all. Tomorrow night. We will be at Sholo High School. The Cougars take on Thatcher. The 14-0 Sholo Lady Cougars, 14-0. They just won the Pepsi Tournament in Flagstaff. They beat the Flagstaff Eagles to win the championship. Congratulations to Sholo. Wow, what a season they are having. Girls game at 5.30, boys game at 7. And then on Wednesday, we have no game on Wednesday because we have a, a, conf a conflict. So no game Wednesday. Thursday, Thursday, Round Valley at Snowflake. And then Saturday, Ganado at Snowflake. That's a boys-only game on Saturday. So those are this week's games. Then Monday, Monday, we are scheduled to be at Page, ALA West Foothills at Page. Tuesday of next week, Winslow at Snowflake or Alchesay at Blue Ridge. And it looks like it's going to be Alchesay at Blue Ridge. That's what it's looking most like. As you watch Holbrook miss that jump shot. Wednesday of next week, Tuba City hosts Snowflake. Thursday, we haven't determined Thursday yet of next week as Natasha Akathli with the big make. Tuba City within one, 60 to 59, a minute 12 remaining in the game. Elena Yazi. Now I gotta tell you, for two teams, that know how to play some fast basketball. I mean, Holbrook plays a lot of half-court set offense, run the set plays. And they do, you know, hold the ball a lot. Generally good ball handlers for Holbrook, but they, they both play with a lot of pace as well. As you watch Nohia Aberly get her second personal foul of the game. Tuba's gonna have a chance to take the lead right here. And, yes, that's two shots because that's the fifth team foul on Holbrook. So here, here we go. High drama at Holbrook High. The foul was in backcourt, but it is the fifth team foul on the Roadrunners. That's two, two foul shots on the way. The officials are talking it over. They'll give some explanation to Coach Perkins. To the foul line goes Kiana Susan Yadami, and we, we don't have any idea who the foul was called on. We're tied, everybody. Clutch foul shot by Susan Yadami. Tuba City is five out of five. I talked about the teams struggling at the foul line. The Warriors missed. All three of their foul shots in the third quarter, but they have made all five of their chances here in the fourth. And there's a miss. Tied at 60. Holbrook rebound, Elena Yazi. Tough pressure, pass stolen, a Akathli. And this one kicked out of bounds. Boy, that was a big, big defensive play by Elena after, after Akathli made a great defensive play for Tuba. And a timeout from the Warriors bench, they have battled and fought all the, all the way back in to tie this thing. They've been down by double figures in the fourth quarter. And just like that, we are tied at 60, everybody. Let's get a quick timeout and a word in from our good friends at Holbrook Family Dentistry. The fourth quarter continues in a moment. Northland basketball presented by Choice NTUA Wireless.
Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000, and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928-524-6854. Welcome back, everybody. What a game. Worth the price of admission on this one tonight. Inbound to, uh, to Sydney Ginny. On the angle left side, Tuba's got the basketball. And they're going to pick up that dribble. Back outside again to Therese. Ariana Begay directing traffic on the drive. What a shot by Ariana. And Tuba City has their first lead of the basketball game. 62 to 60, the Warriors in front. 28 seconds remain in regulation. And a full timeout taken by the Roadrunners. We'll stay here with it, everybody, as you watch again. Look at the shot. Defenders converging. Aberly trying not to pick up another critical foul here in the fourth quarter. And Ariana blows right by the defenders to get a huge shot and the go-ahead for the Lady Warriors. Pressure on, on Holbrook. They'll have the ball for an inbound. And just precious seconds remaining in the game. 28.2 seconds remaining. And a full shot clock. So the Roadrunners don't have to shoot the ball in a hurry. They're going to get it. They can hold on to it if they, if they so choose. And what will they do? What will Coach Perkins draw up? You know that Tuba City is going to is going to apply a ton of pressure on the ball. I don't think they're going to let Holbrook get the ball into front court without contesting it. And that's indeed what they're going to do. Ariana Begay, Kiana Susanyanami defensively in backcourt for Tuba. Holbrook the inbound. It comes in, and it's thrown away. You take a timeout, you discuss it, you talk it over, and just like that, the Roadrunners give up the basketball. Tuba City now in charge, and they can use the full remainder of the clock. 24.7 seconds remaining. Shot clock is off, everybody. Tuba City's in front by, by two, 62-60. Can they get the road win? Holbrook's got to make a play defensively, and they got to start making it. they got to make it right now. I think they took too much time. I think they took too much time. There's a the foul, finally. And that's going to be an intentional foul. Or is it? Maybe it's not. Oh, it is. Yeah, it, it's an intentional foul. So you got to clear out the clear out the key. It'll be two shots and possession to Tuba City. These shots right here are critical. Holbrook's got an opportunity, but if Susan Yonemi makes these foul shots, make it a two possession game, that will make it so well next to impossible for the Roadrunners. Not impossible, but next to it. So that foul shot goes in. This one right here. This is probably the game if she makes it. Kiana Susan Yonemi, and that one is going to be off the mark. So it's a three-point game. Inbound for Tuba coming up. The Roadrunners kind of got to steal the basketball, don't they? They're going to take their final timeout right here. Tuba's got two remaining. The Roadrunners have to get a steal and get a three-point make. It's kind of what they've got to do. If they... If they allow an inbound pass, if Tuba City catches the inbound, Holbrook's got to foul immediately, send Tuba to the line, and hope, and hope that they miss two foul shots because Tuba will get two free throws. Doesn't matter what the foul is. Doesn't matter where it is. It doesn't have to be a shooting foul. With Tuba City, what they've got to do, get a clean inbound pass. And if they can get a couple of dribbles, burn off two or three seconds, just get it closer to zero. Get closer to preserving a, a victory. How about the comeback? And Tuba City getting their first lead of the game 
in the final minute of the game. Just steadily, and that defensive pressure has been the key. I think uh, the second half, defensive pressure by Tuba City. They've kept it up, and Holbrook has had difficulty. Inbound, and the Roadrunners are going to get the ball. That's a travel on the inbound. Susan so Yadavi trying to say, hey, I was pushed. But it was contact on the basketball high. I don't think there was physical contact on the person. And the Roadrunners have their opportunity right here. No timeouts. Six seconds remaining. Somebody's got to get to the passer. Somebody's got to get there. It's tipped. And stolen. And Tuba City's going to get the victory. Nobody came to the inbound pass. Holbrook did not have time for a timeout. They couldn't get a play called in from the sideline. And Tuba City defending the inbound pass. Who was it? It was a great play. Trees Sinigini able to tip it and prevent a Holbrook a, a clean inbound. The Roadrunners had their chance on a, on, a, on a traveling call on the previous inbound attempt. And nobody coming to the passer. You see it right there. Confusion, and the Roadrunners miss out on an opportunity. How about it for Tuba City? Congratulations to Kim Williams and her Lady Warriors. They get the win tonight, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and announce the Sports Zones Player of the Game, everybody. That is Raquel Lee. Raquel Lee is going to win that. She had that big fourth quarter. She ends up with 11 points in the game. Her teammate Ariana Begay was the high point lady for Tuba with 13. She steadily produced throughout the game. But it was that fourth quarter where Raquel did everything. She was scoring a bunch of points. She was all of that. Yeah, bring all of that over this way because it's getting stepped on. Yeah, there we go. Um, Raquel Lee had a big fourth quarter. She scored uh, nine points in the fourth quarter and was a big, big part of the comeback victory for Tuba City today, everybody. And congratulate them on the win. Final score, 63 to 60. What a job by the Lady Warriors. We got a chance right now to speak to the hero in this one. Let's bring her on. Northland basketball is presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. And basketball fans, we welcome you in here on this one. Go ahead and turn that scoreboard off since it's not accurate for us. Uh, we welcome you in, everybody, to Holbrook's Tony Munoz Gymnasium, the Buttonholzer Court, the home of the Holbrook Roadrunners, and a huge comeback win for the Tuba City Lady Warriors. They get the victory tonight. <laughs> Coach Williams takes the, uh, takes the goods away from our Sports Zone Player of the Game. It's presented by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. And this young lady is Raquel Lee. Raquel, congratulations on your team's win. Thank you. Well, Raquel... I mean, it would have come back for you and the team. And you trailed big in the second half. Holbrook had a, a double digits lead. I, I think led by 12 or 13 points at one point. And yet your team didn't give up. Tell us about the fight and the heart of this Tuba City Warriors team. Um, for the second quarter after the top, we all came together and it was our defense that helped us. It really was. Uh, what did coach tell you in, in your in your in your timeouts in your huddles? What did she tell you about the defense that she expected? Um, she just told us to come together and um, and just do our best. Yeah, yeah, and you did, you did. I don't know if you know this or not, but you scored nine of your eleven points in the fourth quarter. What what is it? What was going through your mind through that fourth quarter? What were you thinking out there? I wasn't really thinking a thing, just a win. Yeah. <laughs> you were just on, on cruise control, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you were just automatic, and you were, and you did a great job. Hey, congratulations on the big win for you and the ladies tonight. Let's see that T-shirt. Are you gonna Are you gonna be able to get that back? Hey, coach, coach, can we see that T-shirt? Let's let her flash that. Let's let her flash that to the to the people. Look at that. That's beautiful. You're going to like that? Yes. <laughs> You're going to wear it with pride? Yep. We certainly hope so, Raquel. Thank congratulations you. on the win. All right, Raquel Lee is the Sports Zone's player of the game. Everybody, it's presented by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. 63-60, the final. Tuba City has defeated the Holbrook Roadrunners. Remember that coming up in a few moments, 
We're going to stop this broadcast, start a whole new one for the boys' game coming up here from Holbrook High School. Tuba City is, is here in, in H-Town, everybody. It's the Brook. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually called the Brook. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's bring on the victorious head coach. Hey, Tuba City has defeated Holbrook 63-60 on tonight's Sports Zone Game of the Week broadcast. Northland Basketball presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. And the head coach of Tuba City is Kim Williams. Coach Williams, congratulations. Thank you. Big comeback. You trailed by a lot at one point yeah. in, that, in that second half, and yet your team never gave up. How about yeah. how about the Lady Warriors today? They did well. We'll dig ourselves in the hole to we'll find our way out. And you did just that, Coach, yeah. and I thought it was the defense. I, yeah. your de- you, you really uh, amped up the pressure in that second half, yeah. and it paid off. Yeah, I did. That's just how we play. But, you know, um, the first minute we missed like three or four layups. And that gave them momentum and it gave them confidence. And I told them that we can't do that because, you know, we put ourselves in a hole and we kind of just dug and dug and then, you know, missing those cribs. But they, they, they have to learn to make them. You know, Coach, uh, both teams had their fair share of mistakes today. Yeah. Turnovers, uh, a lot of kind of uh, uh, not thinking through maybe yeah. in certain uh, situations. But I think this game serves as a great example of how it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. Keep your head up and keep going because exactly. you, you still ha- you're still going to get your chances, right? Yeah, and, and that's you know we have time time um, drills where we're down by five, one minute, two minutes, and it's just you know getting to our spots and taking care of our area. So they're they're used to that. Unquestionably, coach. Let me ask you about the leadership of Ariana Begay because as I watch her out there on the floor, awesome. she just seems to take over the game for you as your floor leader and 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 uh, keep the team composed yeah. and lead the way for you. W- what does she mean to your team? Well, she is. She has grown into a leader, and we, for both of us, we we had a lot of heart to heart talks about where she wanted to go and how the season wanted to be. But it was really you know up to her to get the girls together and she knows sometimes she falls and you know I'm, I'm just as hard as her on her uh, hard on her just like everybody else because my expectation is the same and I know she likes to play and I know she wants to win and, and that's why she's so tenacious and she did a great job for you today she scored 13 points to lead the way she was your high point lady but our sports zone player of the game which is brought to you by White Mountain Regional Medicals. And our player of the game was was Raquel Lee. Yeah. And Raquel scored 11 points, nine of that in the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter was where she really took over and shined for you. T- tell me about her efforts tonight. Well, she's my defensive specialist. She knows how to create on her own. She's really good in the open court. Um, she doesn't, you know, fade to anybody, whether how big or how strong they are. She... You know, she just creates her own shot, and she knows where to go and what to do, you know. But, you know, with her defense, it really did make a, make a difference because we've been without her for five games, and, um, you know, my rotation was limited. But now, you know, having her in my bench, it's kind of like, okay, I, I feel better now. But she's really stepped up. You know, Coach, your team, I think it's a big win. The Rovers came in. The record doesn't reflect as how good this team is. I, yeah. I think they're much better than their record. Mm-hmm. Nohia oh, yeah. Aberly, yeah. what, a, what a player, right? She had yeah. tw- 26 points tonight. How, how do you defeat a team like that that's got a player like that that scores the way she did today? What is it you did as a team to still come together and get the win? You know, you know I always said that. You know, I feel that if one person can score that many points, then it meets all five of us, five people. Or one person cannot beat five of us if we're uh, distributing the ball. Um, and that, and when you look at, you know, the last games we just came from the Pepsi tournament, we've always, you know, the last games we've had four, four people in double figures, and a lot of those that that weren't scoring, they had a lot of boards, they were getting steals and a lot of assists, so they're contributing in their own way. And that's really tell them, you know, you may not get the points, but contribute something, contribute something to the game. Outstanding, coach, and a great win for you. Oh, thank you. You come to Holbrook, you make the long drive, and you're rewarded with a nice victory. Oh, I know. Go thank en- you. Go enjoy that. Congratulations, Coach mm-hmm. Williams. Thank you. Tuba City has defeated Holbrook in the girls' varsity game. Final score, 63 to 60. And uh, thank you to Kim Williams uh, for the uh, for the appearance. We'll see who we talk to after the boys game. Will it be Tuba City's head coach? Will it be Pete Butler? Will it be Delmar Johnson, the Holbrook Roadrunner boys head coach? Time will tell, everybody. But a great game there. Thanks to our production team led by our producer, Derek Simmons, our technical director on this one tonight. That is Leonard Keone. And on camera for us in this one from Munoz Gymnasium, 
Big Sean Uvestad for the entire crew. Floyd Simmons reminding you of the final score. Tuba City 63, Holbrook 60 in the girls' varsity game. And also reminding you that we'll end this broadcast now, start a whole new one coming up in a little bit from uh, from Holbrook High School. We'll start a new one for the boys' game in just a moment. Do stay with us for that, everybody. We hope you are having a great night. We say God bless you, and we'll see you in just a moment for the boys' broadcast right here. Northland Basketball is presented by Choice, NTUA Wireless.